Welcome to today's video. So today we are going to solve another medium challenge. Let's take this one, contest leaderboard. Contest leaderboard, you did such a great job helping Julia with her last coding challenge that she wants you to work on this one too. The total score of a hacker is the sum of their maximum scores for all of the challenges. Write a query to print the hacker ID name and total score of the hackers ordered by the descending score. If more than one hacker achieved the same total score, then sort the results by a scanning hacker ID. Exclude all hackers with a total score of zero from your result. Okay, now let's take this text and translate it into our own notes. Output, what do we want? Where does it write here? The total score of a hacker is the sum of the maximum scores for all of the challenges. Write a query to print the hacker ID. Output is the hacker ID. Name. And total score of the hackers ordered by the descending score. Okay, total score of hackers. Total score definition. How is the total score defined? The sco total score of a hacker is the sum of their maximum scores for all of the challenges. Sum of maximum scores for all challenges. Okay. Condition. What do we have for conditions? So we have to write a query to print the hacker ID name and total score. We have that here. Output hacker ID name total score. Ordered by the descending score. Okay, condition is order by score or total score descending. If more than one hacker achieved the same total score, then sort the result by a scanning as scanning hacker ID. Okay, second order by is what as scanning hacker ID? Hacker ID as scanning. Exclude all hackers with a total score of zero from your result. So, another condition. All Exclude all hackers with total score equals zero. Okay. Input format, we have two tables. Hackers, the hacker ID of the is the ID of the hacker and name is the name of the hacker. And submissions table. In submissions, we have the submission ID, the hacker ID, the challenge ID and the score. You can already see the hacker ID we have in the submissions table, the same as the hacker ID in the hackers table. So we can combine the table or join the table over the hacker ID. Here we have a sample output for 071 rows 191. Hacker 4071 submitted solutions for challenges 1979 and 49593. So the total score equals 95 plus max from 4396 equals 199, 91. Okay, so the hacker 4071. Hacker ID 4071. We have it here. Submitted four one nine seven nine and four nine five nine three. Four zero seven one is here, here and here. Four nine five nine three and one nine seven nine seven. And four nine five nine three, the hacker submitted two times. One time with a forty three and one time with a ninety six. So we just 
count one challenge because the challenges were submitted two times and we count the maximum from 43 and 96, which is 96. Okay, so let's make our first try. Select, what do we want? The hacker ID, we put it in output. We wanted the name and we wanted the total score. We don't know right now how to calculate total score. So we just write in string total score. From, I believe the hacker, the tables was called hackers. Let's run it. Okay, great, this was working. So we have the hacker ID, we have the name, and we have here written total score. So let's see how many rows do we have? 200 rows in total. So we have 200 different hacker IDs. Let's take this code for the output. Code one. As we can use it later. So now the question is how to get the total score. Because we have the hacker ID and the name, we just need the total score. We probably have to calculate it. So we want, it says here, maximum from 43 and 96. So we want the maximum from each challenge. So let's select maximum from score, because here's the score in the submissions table, score, and from what? From each challenge. So we have to group it by the challenge. Challenge ID is here. Okay, so let's take the challenge ID. And the table is from submissions. Submissions. Let's run this one. Okay, we got a mistake. It is not contained in an, either an aggregate function or the group by clause. Yes, we every time we use the aggregate, maximum score, for example, it can also be minimum, average, whatever aggregate you use, you need a group by clause. And we group it by the challenge ID because we want the maximum for each challenge. Let's run this one again. Okay, so we got something out and we have the maximum score for each challenge. So now what do we got out here? We have the challenge ID and now we have the score that the highest hacker, that the hacker achieved with the highest score on this challenge. But this is not really what we want because we want not just the highest score from each challenge, we want for every hacker the highest score for their challenges. So for example, here in this example, hacker 4071 has two times the challenge 49593, and we want the highest score of this challenge. So we want to group it not only by the challenge ID, so we get the maximum score from the whole from every hacker from for this challenge, but we want to also group it by the hacker ID. So we get it for each challenge and for each hacker, the maximum score. We also put it in a group by here, hacker ID. Let's run this one again. Okay, great. Now we have the maximum score. We have a challenge ID and we have the hacker ID. So we have now the, for example, the challenge 20594 and the hacker ID 486. So 486 has succeeded in the challenge 20594, the score, the maximum score 45. Maybe he had other submissions too in this challenge, but this is his maximum score that he achieved in this challenge. So this is an important query that we also need. Now what we can do, 
is combine the first select statement that we made with the second one. How do we do it? With a with statement. So we use the first one in, when we do with max score as, so we call the table now that we create max score. Don't need the semicolon now. So now we have this select statement that we can use later in another select statement. And the uh, table is called max score because we need the maximum score later. And now we make the, our second select statement. Select, now we want the real output, the hacker ID. We want the name and we want the total score. Now we have the max score for every challenge. And now what is the definition of the total score? The definition is sum of maximum scores for all challenges. Okay, great. So we just make to have to make the sum from maximum score here. So the maximum score, we give it a name here in the table that is before and we call it SM score. Now we can take the sum from this maximum score. We call it sum from M score. Because we called it M score in the table before, we also have to call it now sum from M score. So from where do we want to get this? First from the hackers table. And now we have to join the other table. What join do we want to use? We are using the inner join because we, what are we going to lose? We are going to lose hackers, but they don't have any submissions. They don't have any challenges in the second table. As an inner join, we exclude all hackers that they, that they are not ex included in the submissions table, but we don't want them anyway, because we only want hackers that have a total score above zero. So we make an inner join on submissions table. No, not on the submissions table, but on the table that we already did before. And we called it max score. So let's take this table max score. MS on MS on which can we join the common column from both of them is the hacker ID. So we are joining on the hacker ID equals H dot hacker ID. So now we take the hacker ID. We also have to call it h.hackerid because we take it from the hackers table. The name we also take from the hackers table. And the sum from M score we take from max score table that we created before. So let's see if this runs. Okay, we got a mistake again. It is not contained in either an aggregate function or the group by clause. Of course, we need to make a group by clause because we make an aggregate again, group by, what do we have to group by? All the, all columns that are not in the aggregate in the sum function. So that is the hacker ID, h.hacker ID and h.name. So let's run this one again. Okay, so now we have an output. We have the hacker ID, we have the name of the hacker, and we have the sum of all their maximum scores and all the challenges. So we already did most of the work now. Now we have to look a little bit more on the conditions. So the condition was order by total score descending. Order by is always the last command in SQL. So we make order by Total score. What is the total score? Sum from MS score. So let's take this sum from MS score. And it should be descending. Let's run this one. Okay, so we have the total score 760 up and then it goes down 710 and so on. And goes down until, okay, we have a couple ones with zero. 
we only have 194 here. Apparently, a couple of them already are excluded because in total we had 200 challenge hackers and we already excluded six of them. And also we have to exclude the ones that have zero as the total score because that was another condition. Exclude all hackers with total score equals zero. So how do we do this? We cannot use a where clause because if we make where sum from ms score ms dot m score above zero is not possible because he first has to aggregate in the select clause and then you cannot use the aggregate here in the where clause. You can use in the where clause the hacker ID. You can make where hacker ID is like 9999, no, for example, but you cannot use aggregate here. So let's take this one away. What do we have to use? We actually have to use having clause here. Having is after you have it aggregated and then you can use it again. So we make having sum from ms.m score to be above zero. Let's run this again. Okay, we still don't have the right answer. So we are already missing, still missing some condition. Order by total score descending, we have that. Second order by hacker ID ascending. Okay, the second order is, we are still missing this one. So order by the first order we did, and the second order we just have to make a column, and then hacker ID ascending. And that is the second order. And now I think we have all our conditions, and now we should get the right solutions. Let's see. And there it is. We got the right solution. So please share if you like, uh, if you like it, comment down below and like and subscribe my channel so I can keep making these videos for you guys. Thank you.